Now, the Federation of Women Lawyers in Nigeria, FIDA, Kaduna State Branch and the International Alert, IA, have declared a state of emergency on sexual and gender-based violence across the state. They state that these are the one-day sensitization workshop aimed at proffering lasting solution to the menace. Plus, TV's correspondent Habila Dorafai's report is presented from our studios. The prevalence of sexual violence is on the increase in Kaduna communities, with women and girls mostly affected. To fight this scourge, stakeholders have converged on this workshop. They are advocating more stringent laws against sexual violence, which is a societal menace. Paul Benshima is the country director of International Alert Nigeria. He says the project is crucial towards promoting stability, access to justice, and accountability. In our joint commitment to confront and eradicate deeply rooted, harmful cultural norms and practices that for us have been responsible in promoting sexual and gender-based violence in the various communities of Cardona State. To eradicate those cultural norms and practices that underpin LGBT in our community. Aisha Mohammed is the Kaduna State Chairperson of FIDA. She says stringent and capital punishment must be put in place for perpetrators of these acts as stipulated in the law, urging the government to do more in curbing the menace. Uh, advocating that more laws be put in place, stringent laws. They have to be very severe, even though we know that um, the former governor, Malam Nasr el Fahi, re reviewed the, 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 the law on rape. He, he, he now placed it on to castration. But it's as if it's not making any impact, I don't know. But we are, we are not getting that much convictions as we would want to. So we, we hope that we'll have more stringent laws to this the Commissioner of Justice and Attorney General of Kaduna State, Barrister Suleiman Shwaibu, says the state has zero tolerance for SGBV, promising to fight violence against women and children to the barest minimum. Government, uh, we have uh, zero tolerance for gender-based uh, violence and uh, the government is not taking it for granted and uh, is doing everything possible to ensure that uh, the violence actually is nipped in the bud and where it escapes uh, being nipped in the bud, uh, uh, actions that are needed to be taken are uh, proactively taken. Uh, where there are cases that needed to be prosecuted, we will not waste time, we will, not, uh, 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 will ensure that they are prosecuted to the, to, to, to the end. Also, Commissioner of Ministry of Human Services and Social Development, Rabbi Salisu commends both state and non-state actors working around SGBV. The security agencies, judiciary and other stakeholders promise to play a key role in curbing the menace and crafted practical solutions for effective implementation in their societies. I have a lot of uh, cases. When you go to the ministry, you will see maybe more than 50, 30 people coming issues of domestic violence through the family issues. Also the physical and the rape assaults. There's a case reported to the ministry, a grand, biological grandfather assaulting his granddaughter. So you see, how can you say she is safe with the, her grandfather? Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.